is your diet and lifestyle putting you at risk of having high cholesterol and ending up as a potential heart attack case? When you hear of high cholesterol, it's likely that you think in terms of heart attacks, heart disease, strokes, and maybe other diseases such as diabetes. Whilst cholesterol is naturally produced by your liver, it's also introduced to your body via your diet in the form of processed foods and meat and dairy products. This contributes to your cellular health, your omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acid ratio balance in your body, getting out of balance and increasing the harmful effects of too much chronic inflammation in your body, which leads to increasing the risk of you falling victim to degenerative diseases and chronic illnesses. So, do you know of someone who has had a heart attack or a stroke or suffers with high cholesterol? In this video, you'll discover what cholesterol is, how it impacts on your body, and how to get your body back into balance to substantially minimize the risk of cardiovascular disease. Before then, consider getting an ongoing collection of news, reports, resources, and courses on various health and wellness issues linked or connected with omega-3 fatty acids. To do so is very easy. Just take a moment to subscribe and then click the grey bell icon so you don't miss out on future uploads. And watch this video to the very end where you'll gain access to a special report. So here's the video entitled Cholesterol and Omega-3 Fatty Acids 10 Essential Tips You Need to Know. 1. Initial Steps to Take Control to Help Yourself so, two ways to redress any cholesterol problems and the harmful and destructive cellular health imbalance in your body is to 1. Immediately change your diet by replacing the processed foods with healthy, natural foods such as fruit and vegetables and 2. Increase your intake of omega-3 rich foods such as oily fish like wild salmon, mackerel, sardines and anchovies. Number 2. What are omega-3 fatty acids? Omega-3 fatty acids are types of polyunsaturated fats that your body needs to keep your cellular health in balance and to keep chronic inflammation in your body under control, which is crucial for maintaining your heart health. Omega-3s can only be obtained from food as your body doesn't produce it, so eating foods high in omega-3 fatty acids could help to prevent heart attacks and strokes. The three main omega-3 fatty acids are 1. ALA, alpha linolenic acid. This is mainly found in leafy green vegetables, nuts and seeds and 2. EPA, eicosapentaenoic acid. This is good for blood clotting and for cardiovascular health and 3. DHA, docosahexaenoic acid. This is good for the brain and eye health. Overall, omega-3 fatty acids help the normal function of your brain, your heart, your gut and your overall immune system while helping to keep your cellular health in balance and your chronic inflammation under control. Oily fish such as sardines, salmon and mackerel are the best sources of EPA and DHA. Number 3. Why are omega-3 fatty acids good for health? Fewer people have heart disease in countries where oily fish is part of a staple diet, such as in the Mediterranean, Greenland and Japan. Countries such as the US, Australia, the UK and Northern Europe have a deficiency of omega-3 fatty acids in their diet and hence a much higher incidence of heart disease. The omega-3 fats of EPA and DHA can help protect the cardiovascular system from disease by lowering triglycerides, a fat that enters our blood after a meal, improving blood circulation, preventing blood clots, lowering hypertension, blood pressure and stabilizing your heartbeat. Number four. Which foods contain omega-3 fatty acids? 1. Oily fish Oily fish is the best source of omega-3 fatty acids. 
and to eat 240 gram portions of fish per week. Examples of oily fish are anchovies, herring, mackerel, pilchards, sardines, trout, whitebait and wild salmon. Eating oily fish is good for you in other ways too, as they're also a source of vitamins A, B and D, and minerals such as calcium, iodine, zinc, iron and selenium. 2. Marine algae. Marine algae are ideal for vegans and vegetarians. After all, it's where the fish get their food and omega-3 fatty acids and polyphenols from. Examples of edible algae, including seaweed, are Kelp Nori Wakami Spirulina and Chlorella Number 5. How much is too much? Generally, you shouldn't consume more than 4 portions of oily fish per week. If you're pregnant, planning to get pregnant, or breastfeeding, you should eat no more than two portions of oily fish per week. Number six, what is cholesterol? Cholesterol is produced in your liver and it's also obtained from foods high in saturated fats, such as meat, poultry, and dairy products. It resides in your blood and helps create new blood cells. Your body needs it to build cells and make vitamins and hormones, but too much cholesterol can pose a problem. Vegetable oils used for cooking and baking also contain saturated fats that can increase bad cholesterol. Number seven, why cholesterol matters. Cholesterol circulates in the blood and there are two types of cholesterol, each with a different function, but it's vitally important to get the right balance. There is a third component as well called triglycerides. The two types of cholesterol are 1. LDL, low density lipoprotein cholesterol, which is bad because plaque builds up in your arteries and 2. HDL, high density lipoprotein, which is good because it removes the LDL and stops the plaque building up in your arteries. That's why getting the right balance is crucial. Too much of LDL or not enough of HDL increases the risk that cholesterol will slowly build up in the arteries to feed the heart and brain, thereby leading to increasing the risk of cardiovascular diseases such as heart attacks and strokes. The narrowing of the arteries is a condition known as atherosclerosis, which can create blood clots leading to a heart attack or a stroke. An unhealthy lifestyle that includes smoking and excessive alcohol consumption together with high blood pressure and being a diabetic, further increases your risk of having high cholesterol. Fortunately, you can control your cholesterol level and minimize the risk of cardiovascular disease. The third component of cholesterol is called triglycerides, which is the most common fat found in your body. It stores excess fat from your diet. High triglyceride levels are unhealthy and can be controlled by regular exercising, such as walking, running and cycling, to burn off that excess fat. Number eight, what's best for keeping bad cholesterol down? Natural omega-3 fatty acids or medical statins? High cholesterol requires treatment. So when it comes to controlling your cholesterol, are omega-3 fatty acids an alternative to man-made medical statins? Omega-3 fatty acids are credited with health benefits such as reducing inflammation and blood pressure, hypertension, and improving bone health and healthy skin, maintaining healthy brain function, and keeping your immune system topped up. Number nine, how statins work. There are two key tasks undertaken by statins. 1. They stop the body making cholesterol and 2. They help to absorb plaque that's built up in the arteries. According to the US Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, statins can prevent heart disease, 
but should be taken with care because of their potential side effects such as causing muscle pain. As a consequence, they tend to be prescribed to people with high cholesterol and who are at risk of cardiovascular disease. While statins have benefits in addition to reducing your cholesterol, such as anti-inflammatory properties, stabilizing blood vessels, and reducing the risk of heart attacks, unfortunately, as with all medication, they treat the symptom and not the cause. And of course, the first thing you can do to help prevent and reduce high cholesterol is to change to a much healthier lifestyle by one, giving up smoking and reducing your alcohol intake. Two, changing your eating habits to a healthier diet by immediately cutting out processed foods and replacing them with more natural, wholesome foods like fruit and vegetables. And three, exercising such as walking, cycling, and participating in sports. And number 10, can omega-3 fatty acids help lower cholesterol? By eating foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids, you may help reduce heart disease and lower triglyceride levels in your blood. In effect, omega-3 fatty acids help reduce the rate at which your liver produces triglycerides. Owing to the anti-inflammatory effects of omega-3 fatty acids in your body, plaque in the arteries is also decreased, helping to thin the blood. In the next video, you'll find out more about cholesterol and omega-3 fatty acids, five more essential tips. No. As always, consult with your doctor if you're unsure of using any supplementation or divergence from a prescribed dietary plan. To begin the journey of getting your cellular health back into balance and your chronic inflammation under control, click on the URL link in the description box below this video, complete the short questionnaire and then hit the start button. Finally, don't forget to click on the special report link in the description box below this video to get access to Cholesterol and Omega-3 Fatty Acids, 15 Essential Tips to a Healthier Life. And now, here's the boring, but very essential bit. Kindly note, the content of this video does not constitute medical advice in any shape or form and has been created for passive informational purposes only. End of boring, but very essential bit. Many thanks for watching this video. In the meantime, and until the next video is released, bye for now.